it's Laura London. Are you ready to work out today? I'm glad you are because today we are working out your abs. That's right, we are doing abs on fire. All right, so what you are going to need is just a mat and yourself, that's it, and a lot of energy. Make sure to warm up for five minutes before we get started. We are doing 10 exercises, 10 different exercises, and we're doing them each 10 times each, and we're doing them on the mat. So let's get going, here we go. We're gonna come on down, and our first exercise, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna be going down halfway, coming to the side, coming to the side, and going back down for 10. All right, I feel like I can't see you guys. All right, here we go, you ready? Bring it down. Come on back up, side, side, really twist. We wanna work those obliques. That's one. This is two, three, good, four, five. If you want those abs, you know we have to work for them. Six, but we also have to really dial in on our nutrition. Seven. I've got lots of great recipes on my website, lauralondonfitness.com. So visit me there. All right, last one here. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Let's go down nice and slow. And then bring it back on up. Okay, great job. Our next exercise. Woohoo! We're going to be lying down and we're going to be touching our toe and we're going to be alternating. If this is too hard for you, just kind of come up and tap your knee. Do whatever you can do. Here we go for 10. One, two, three, you got it. Four, tap them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, all right. Now we're gonna do, I call them frogs. I don't know why, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be coming in and out, in and out for 10. Ready, here we go. Take it in and out. One, two, three, really crunch it. Four, you can feel that core working. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Now we're going to do one of my favorites, and, and uh, the film crew kill the ants. We're going from side to side for 10. The farther you lean back, the harder it is. The more you sit up, the easier it's going to be. You can also pick up your feet to make it extra hard. So here we go for 10. We're gonna really slam it onto the ground. One, two, three, Four, you got it, slam it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, ooh, I am feeling it in my core. All right, we're gonna do some side shimmies. I'll show you what that looks like. We're going down and we're shimmying side to side, reaching as far as we can. We're working our obliques, so here we go. Let's start here, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Are you feeling that? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful job. All right. Now we're just going to do simple crunches, but we're going to do Laura London crunches. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You see a lot of people, they're just like throwing their bodies. That's not what we do. We take the chin and we bring it up to the ceiling. It's a small movement. I want you to really engage those abs. Don't crunch your head or your neck forward. So here we go. One, two, three. Push those abs into the floor. Four, five, six. Make that mind-muscle connection. Seven, eight, nine. Really squeeze it and 10. Beautiful. Do you see the difference when you make the mind-muscle connection and you squeeze it? All right, next exercise are 
fold it like a lawn chair. I give these exercises silly names. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come up, our hand and our foot is meeting in the middle, and then we're going to switch it to the other side. This is what it looks like, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you wanna make that exercise harder, put a weight in your hand and knee in the middle. That will really challenge your core. Okay, we're going to do some reverse. Let me see if I can do reverse here. Got a little speaker here. All right, we're just gonna roll up for 10. A tiny little roll working our lower abs. Here we go. One, two, three, tiny movement. Four, that's it. Five, six, seven, can you feel it? Eight, yes. Nine and 10. Awesome. Let's just stretch that out. Stretch from one side to the other. Feels really good. It's always important to stretch. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. And for our last exercise, we're gonna do whoop, a plank here. We're just gonna hold that plank for as long as we can. So we want a nice straight back. Engage those abs and just hold that plank. You got it. Woo, we are working our core today. Keep it going, keep it going. Beautiful. Hold it, hold it. We could be here all day, but I'm not gonna keep you guys here all day. A few more seconds. Beautiful. I say beautiful a lot, I know. All right, let's drop it down. Let's just give ourselves a nice cobra stretch here. We're here, so let's do it, stretch it out. And that was it. That was your abs on fire workout. Now I want you to go back and do it one or two more times and your abs are going to be on fire for the rest of the week. I love to do my ab workout before I do like a full body workout or upper or lower body workout. It's a great way to warm up your body before your workout and get your ab work in. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, and I know you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other ab videos. I have 12 minutes standing up abs, 10 minutes standing up abs. I've worked your abs every which way. So I will see you guys on the next video. You know I put out new videos every week. Have a fit and fabulous day. Bye-bye. Done. <laughs>